So let's have a look at solving this equation. The equation is 3x plus 1 is equal to 7. In this question we ask ourselves on which side of the equal sign are the x's located. Well there's the equal sign and as you can see the 3x is on the left hand side. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave the x's on the left hand side and collect the number terms on the right hand side. So I'm going to leave the 3x exactly where it is. So next line, leave that exactly where it is. Put the equals in the middle. And I'm going to collect the numbers on the other side. I've got two numbers to deal with. I've got the number 1 and I've got the number 7. The 7 and the 1 are called number terms. Let's collect them together on the right hand side. The 7 is already on the right hand side and that's where I want it to be. So it doesn't change sides, so it doesn't change signs. It just stays exactly the same, 7, which actually means plus 7, but you don't need to put the plus in front of it if it's the first thing you write down. We now take the plus 1 and we drag that across to the other side to join the 7. If you swap the side of the plus 1 to the other side, you swap the sign, so the plus 1 becomes a minus 1. So we get on our next line, 3x equals 7 minus 1. OK, let's tidy up a little bit on the right-hand side. So I'm going to leave the 3x alone on the left, and that's equal to, and 7 take away 1 is the same as 6. So we get a line that 3x is the same as 6. Nearly there now, but I don't want 3x. I want to get just x or 1x. To go from 3x to get just an x or 1x, we simply share the left-hand side by 3. But because we want to keep this balanced, we share both sides of the equation by 3. It's like a seesaw. Share one side by 3, share the other side by 3 as well. So I'm going to take the number on the other side, which is 6, and I'm going to share that by 3. So I've shared that by 3, share that by 3, so it still balances. And finally now, simply work out what 6 shared by 3 is. So we get on the left-hand side that x is equal to, and 6 shared by 3 gives you an answer of 2. And that's the solution to this simple equation.